Hi, this is Prasanna from Wave Academy. Welcome to MATLAB basic session. In this video, we are going to discuss how to do plotting and subplotting in MATLAB. I am straight away moving to the MATLAB. Now I am going to create a new file. It is always a good practice, save the file first. So whatever you are typing after percentage symbol, that will be treated as a comment line. Okay, if you want to type some description of your program, you can use this percentage symbol. This is plotting of sinusoidal waveform. So how to create a plot of sinusoidal waveform? It's very simple. First, you have to mention what is your x and y. I'm going to plot a sinusoidal waveform, one complete sinusoidal waveform, one positive and negative half starting from 0 to 2 pi. Therefore, this value is pi and this is pi by 2 and this is 3 pi by 4. So, what is the value of pi? Pi is 3.14, 2 pi it will come around 6.28. So, now I am going to define the x. The x is equal to Lin space of Lin space is the inbuilt function of MATLAB. Lin space of 0, 2 into pi. So what this will do? It Lin space will create a linear equally spaced 100 values between 0 to 2 pi. Copy it and paste it in command window. And put enter. So it will create a row vector which consists of 100 equally spaced values starting from 0 to 6.28. Okay. So now the x is defined. Then y is equal to sine of x. If you want to plot this sinusoidal waveform, then you have to use a function called to plot plot of x comma y. Now I'm just executing the file. You can able to see that a sinusoidal waveform is available. But this sinusoidal waveform is available because there is no x label, y label, there is no units title of the graph. Okay, how to include the x label, y label? One way you can straight away go to this insert, you can add x label, y label, title, legend, whatever you want. Other way is you can do it from the script itself. Okay, so we will see both. After plotting, you can add x label. Within a double quote, you can type it as a time in seconds. Y label, it will be this one is amplitude, voltage, and title, it will be it's a sinusoidal waveform. Now, if you run the system, this will give you the sinusoidal waveform with X label, Y label with units and the title of the graph. So, don't do this X label, Y label title before plot, before this function. It won't give you the X label, Y label. Okay. Now, I am going to make it as a comment. The other way I am telling now. Now again run the file. Now the sinusoidal waveform is obtained without any x label available. The alternate way how to include it, go to insert, click on x label, type it here. It beats a time in seconds. Go to insert, 
y label amplitude in voltage if you want a title click a title let it be a sign waveform suppose if you want to change the color of this waveform or if you want to change the line style of waveform go to edit figure properties so this figure property inspector is having a lot of uh, features just select the waveform it automatically takes you to the color and styling tab so under the color and styling you can select whatever the color you want i'm selecting the red color and similarly you can increase the width it beats 3 if you want to change the line style you can do it you can change whatever the style you want okay so as of now i'm using a continuous line you can do whatever the graphics editing work whatever you want you can do with this property inspector but you can do the same thing with script also how to do it so as of now i'm using red color if you want to change the color then go to the plot after this plot x comma y comma you have to mention what is the color if you want it in blue then you can use b there is a color code actually okay run it you will get the same waveform in blue color if you want x label y label you have to again you have to uncomment it run it you will get the waveform in blue color similarly here itself you can mention what is the thickness what is the line style whatever you want from the script itself so both ways you can do now we'll see how to do subplots that means i'm going to plot cosine waveform in here itself So both sinusoidal waveform as well as the cosine waveform in a single graph. That is nothing but as a subplotting. Save it and creating one more M file. Save the file. Little bit a subplot. That is plotting of sinusoidal waveform as well as cosine waveform in a single plot. Similarly, you have to mention what is x first. X is length space of. 0 comma 2 into pi now I'm going to define what is y1 y1 is sin of x now I'm going to plot x comma y1 so once it is done the next step I'm going to plot the cosine waveform. So before plotting cosine waveform, you have to instruct the MATLAB to keep the program hold on. So therefore, you have to use the function name called hold on. Without doing this thing, it won't plot the second waveform. Hold on. Now you are going to define what is y2. What is y2? y2 is cos of x. It's defined now I'm going to plot x comma y2 so at last you have to release the hold that is hold off so this is the way you can develop a subplots how any number of plots 
Now you run this. It will give you both sinusoidal waveform as well as cosine waveform in a single plot. Now you can add uh, title, x label, y label. You can change the color of waveforms. Setting Y label, the big sample tool. Reform. If you want to change the color, you can change it. Just go to edit. Go to figure properties, select the color. I'm just selecting sinusoidal waveform. Take some color, what you want. Increase the thickness. And similarly, select the second waveform, cosine waveform. Change the color whatever you want and increase the thickness as 3. So this will give you the comparison. Okay. So this is the way you can do the plotting as well as subplotting in the metal. I hope this video will give you a clear idea about how to plot subplots in MATLAB. Thank you. Kindly subscribe to the channel. If you have any queries, kindly drop a mail to this mail. Thank you.